what would normally look like this today looks like this. For 2020, the big E resembles something much more lowercase. Obviously a minuscule scale from, from what we're used to. Where the history runs as deep as the frying oil, in West Springfield there is less flair, but still a taste of the fare. Sausage grinders, now we're getting beignets, and then I'm getting kettle corn. Due to COVID-19, instead of crowds, just some cars. This is the Big E Food To Go drive through A little bit of shake and bake. Gene Cassidy is CEO of the Six State Expo. This event is just a creative way to try to generate some revenue to help these concessionaires out, some of whom haven't been working since last October. Listen, at this stage of the game, with, this, with the entire season being closed, I'll take anything we can get. You know, a little bit of something is better than nothing at all. The classic cream puffs the fried Reese's Cups. The most delicious thing you can ever get. Fair fans make reservations online and book a time. I come every year right around my birthday, take a day off of work, and I come out for the day. That's like my birthday treat. The fried Snickers, the kettle corn, the cotton candy, it is a bit bittersweet this year because in 2019, they did 1.6 million people here on the fairgrounds. That was an all-time record. I hope all of them are sad at some level, as sad as I am about no fair this year. But it gives folks an opportunity to stay connected to us, and that's really important. True, in 2020, the options are diminished. I got fried Oreos. But waistlines will still expand. And the fair brings people together, and I think that by the time we get through this awful moment in our history, uh, 2021 is gonna be a moment in time where we all can come back together and celebrate uh, the best fair ever again. In West Springfield, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.